Lena Bodante is, in many ways, your average teen. The new girl at Wickham boarding school, she struggles to fit in enough to survive and stand out enough to catch the eye of the golden boy lacrosse captain. But Lena also just happens to be a recovering 500-year-old vampire queen. After centuries of terrorizing Europe, Lena is able to realize the dream all vampires have, to be human again. After performing a dangerous ritual to restore her humanity, Lena entered a century-long hibernation, leaving behind the wicked coven she ruled over and the eternal love who has helped grant her deep-seated wish. That is, until Lena draws her first natural breath in centuries at Wickham and rediscovers a human life that bears little resemblance to the one she had known. As if suddenly becoming a teenager weren't stressful enough, each passing hour brings Lena closer to the moment when her abandoned coven will open the crypt where she should be sleeping and find her gone. As her borrowed days slip by, Lena resolves to fa live her newfound life as fully as she can, but to do so, she must answer ominous questions. Can an ex-vampire survive an alien time and place? What can Lena do to protect her new friends from the bloodthirsty menace about to descend upon them, and how is she ever going to pass her biology midterm? Hi, my name is Jen, and this is my review of Infinite Days by Rebecca Maisel. This book was very strange, as in, I had a hard time deciding what to rate it when I was done reading it, because it was slow in parts, and it switches back and forth between time periods, which can make a book difficult to review. I understand why they had to do it so, why she had to do it so much. Because you had to get to know the character. You had to get to know Lena, who she was before, and who she is now. It was difficult. And... There's some things I liked a lot and some things I really did not like and it made it difficult. So I don't like to give half stars so I decided four stars for this book. But just barely. But at the same time I'm kind of looking forward to the next one. Sometimes a book can be the first in the series and it can not be as good and then the next book it gets better so let's not say it's not good it really is good I, I like the characters and sometimes the, the plot was a little slow in plots but the the characters and uh, the characters were good, and some of the dialogue was really good. The print is really tiny. I think that is what made the book seem like it was really long, because the print was really tiny. But there's a only 308 pages. The cover is pretty and shimmery. And I love, I love the eye and the little blood drop coming off of the F. This is a difficult book to review. The back, the description on the back is different from the description on Goodreads. So, I'm going to read it to you. Throughout all of my histories, I found no one I love more than you. No one. Those were some of Rhodes' last words to me. The last time he would pronounce his love. The last time I would see his face. It was the first time in 592 years I could take a breath, lay in the sun, taste. Rhodes sacrificed himself so I, Lena Bodante, could be human again, so I could stop the bloodlust. I never expected to fall in love with someone else who wasn't Rhodes, but Justin was daring, exciting, more beautiful than I could dream. I never expected to be 16 again, but then again, I never expected my past to come back and haunt me. So, from the cover and the back of the book, I really was intrigued. 
and there are certain aspects that I really like. Like the the concept of the vampires actually wanting to be human again because life as a vampire isn't as wonderful as they thought it would be and lack of sensation. Some of the stuff is a little spoilery, but I try not to spoil too bad. Lack of certain sensation and feeling and emotion, things like that. And the constant painful bloodlust. It's something new that I haven't seen in books before. Like, of course, you have vampires do have bloodlust. And you've, I've, I'm sure most people have seen that before. But the fact that it's insanely painful, like, no matter how much blood they get, they still feel like they need more. It, it being so torturous that they, that a lot of vampires don't want to be vampires anymore. They dream of being human again. That was, that was intriguing to me. And I'm, I'm interested, I'm interested in what's going to happen next. So, I'm going to probably pick up the next book when it comes out. Uh, three and a half to four stars. Overall, really good book. The writing is pretty good. I'll bet slow in some spots. And it definitely had, the book definitely had an emotional effect on me. So maybe for that reason alone, I would recommend reading it. So. I think that's about all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Until next time, keep reading.